Hey church, it's uh, time of the year for our pastors to get together for our annual staff retreat. So we're gathered here with Pastor Tim, Pastor Matt, and what's his name? Pastor Gary, right? And then uh, Joe too is holding the camera. We have Phil Dutton here who's doing, who's our, our week cook for us while we're here during this time. And uh, he is definitely overfeeding us, but we're enjoying every bit of it. But this is our time. We, each year we get together, we spend time in prayer, we spend a lot of time in planning and preparation and, and overviewing and reviewing and seeking the Lord's face for the direction he has for us for our fellowship and for our church. Let me share a passage or a couple passages with you from, from that's uh, on my heart from Romans and Ephesians and another little verse in Colossians. Paul writes to the church, says, I urge you, brethren, by the, by the Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit, to strive together with me in your prayers to God for me, that I may be delivered from those who are disobedient in Judea, and that my service for Jerusalem may prove acceptable to the saints, so that I may come to you in joy by the will of God and find refreshing rest in your company. Now the God of peace may be with you all. Amen. Paul's basically saying, pray for us. You know, we're, we're, we're concerned about the needs of the church, the church in Judea, the church in Jerusalem. And he's asking this for, for the prayers. Ephesians, he asks again, verse 19 of chapter 6, Pray on my behalf, and I would say on our behalf, that utterance may be given to me in the opening of our mouth to make known the, with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Another passage where he's talking about praying for your pastors in Colossians 4, verse 3. Praying at the same time for us as well, that God may open to us a door for the word so that we may speak forth the mystery of Christ for which we have been imprisoned. Another quick verse in Ephesians, excuse me, 1 Thessalonians 5, 25. This is a really long verse. Brethren, pray for us. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1. Finally, brethren and sisters, pray for us that the word of the Lord may be spreading rapidly and be glorified just as it did with us also. And those are just a few verses where Paul is simply saying, hey, we want to preach with boldness. We want to speak the word of God confidently. We, we pray for the opportunities for God to open the doors to us. And he just simply said, pray for us that passage in 1 Thessalonians, and then pray for us that God's word may spread rapidly. I think those are the same prayer requests that, that we ask of you while we're here, that we have confidence, boldness, assurance, direction, uh, power, and, and, and speaking the word of God and, and ministering to the church, whether it's Jerusalem, Judea, or the other parts of the world, that we would be focused on what God's called us to do. These have been some really strange times and these are really difficult days, but I'll tell you from, from some of the people I know personally that's most difficult for, and that is leaders in churches and pastors in churches. So understand that if you would pray for us, we're praying for all of our leaders in our fellowship at both campuses as well. So continue to pray for us. We will be praying for you even while we're here. We're praying for you. And uh, most of all, just continue to be faithful to God as you pray. And we'll see what God has for us. There's some great things ahead. I want to remind you, Wednesday night services tomorrow night. Our Bible studies, don't forget those. Also had a, a note here to remember to get signed up for the marriage retreat. 21 couples, I think, as of today, or 22, I'm not quite sure on that number, but we had several signed up again on Sunday. So if you want a spot at the marriage retreat, get signed up and uh, go online and do that as well. Also want to remind you that uh, Sundays is coming Sunday. We start our lift group study. Get ready, be prepared, excited about getting back together again. Well, your pastors love you. Even Brother Joe behind the camera loves you. And we're believing God for great things. God bless you. We'll see you later.